And what I would like to do this afternoon is add some detail to the clip that I've done on bitter nut hickory. It's received almost 140 hits so far. So I believe there's a demand for this service and I will add to what I've already found out about bitter nut hickory and hope this will assist you in identifying it as you hike. It has this evenly furrowed bark from top to bottom. If you get really far up, way beyond my view here, the bark actually gets fairly smooth when it's like less than six inches in diameter. This is a two foot diameter tree here. It's fairly large and fairly old. And I think I mentioned with the beech trees that as they get older, sometimes they'll send up a root sprout knowing that their mortality is um, getting closer. So here we are. We've got a root sprout that's probably six inches around. They just happened to have some branches where I could get a good look at next year's buds because that is one way you can tell a bitter nut from the other trees. And just for comparison purposes, here's my bitter nut. And I've got a, what's left of a white ash here. I don't think this thing is that diseased yet, but it's probably getting close to its end of its life because of the emerald ash bore damage in this area. I don't believe this tree is going to live much longer. There's still some branches on it, but I don't believe it's going to live much longer, if at all. It does have a similar bark and similar color, but the branching on the white ash is opposite, and the bitter nut hickory has alternate branching. And most of the white ashes are on their way down. I did a clip on that a few days ago. There aren't too many left that are alive or standing with bark intact. But you could confuse them from a distance. So let's get to the um, next year's growth. Here are the buds on the left here of a bitter nut hickory. And all the guidebooks are telling me that they're a bright yellow. I've honestly never taken the time to find one. In all my hiking, usually they're well out of view, but I took some time to really find a tree that had that root sprout today, so I was lucky. It's a bright yellow, almost an orangish yellow, and the bud is narrower than the branch. You can see that here. So much different than two other hickories that I had in my uh, pack today. We've got a mocker nut on the far right with a bud that's much wider than the branch and a shag bark. In the middle here, which is slightly wider than the branch. The nut of that bitter nut hickory is about the size of a US, U.S. currency nickel. So about three quarters of an inch around. It's the smallest of the nuts of the five hickories I'm trying to add to this channel. And here's some more of that nice orangish yellow buds on this twig from this bitter nut hickory. Just to review the nut, the size is the smallest of the five hickories I'm trying to add to this channel. And it's got that distinct ridge where the shell fragments meet, almost looks like a cross. So that's another way, their, their nuts are common on the ground, you find them everywhere. They're the smallest. And the, uh, the, they would, the next one in order of size, the next largest one would be the pig nut followed by mocker nut, followed by shag bark, followed by shell bark. And that goes basically to about a two inch diameter nut from the shell barks. I'll be adding more to those of those to this channel as soon as I can find them. In the meantime, here is our bitter nut hickory with winter appearance with next year's beautiful foliage ready to emerge in about six to eight weeks.